आई एम डॉक्टर राहुल गुप्ता आई एम डायरेक्टर एंड हेड ऑफ न्यूरो सर्जरी एट फोर्टिस हॉस्पिटल नोएडा टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट ब्रेन हेमरेज ब्रेन हेमरेज मीन्स एनी रक्चर ऑफ ब्लड वेसल इन साइड द ब्रेन लीडिंग टू एक्स्ट्राशन ऑफ ब्लड इन टू द ब्रेन पेरन कैमर दिस में प्रेजेंट एज सब इलेक्ट्रॉन हेमरेज दिस में प्रेजेंट एज इंट्राक्रीनल हेमेटोमा इट में प्रेजेंट एज सब डूरल हेमेटोमा और इट में प्रेजेंट एज माइक्रोब्लीड्स we have to be worried about it because this can be a precursor to a major problem or sometimes a major problem itself if the amount of blood is large the patient may be unconscious or there can be weakness of one side of the limbs then immediate surgery has to be done to remove that clot or the brain hemorrhage otherwise patient will not improve and there can be a chance that he may go into coma or even death so it has it is a medical emergency where patient has to reach the hospital as soon as possible we sometimes have to investigate for the underlying cause Sometimes the brain hemorrhage is small, or there is subarachnoid hemorrhage. Here, we there can be a vascular malformation in the brain, like an aneurysm, like an arteriovenous malformation, like a dural AV fistula, or maybe some other reason. Majority of the times, the brain hemorrhage is due to increase in blood pressure. So, blood pressure has to be controlled throughout to prevent rupture of any blood vessel in the brain. What are the investigations? CT scan of the brain is the best investigation to pick up blood. so any suspicion of brain hemorrhage immediately go for a ct scan of the brain which is widely available and it is very economical to further qualify it sometimes the requirement of mri of the brain is there but mri is only to do some further studies more important than mri will be an angiography to diagnose the cause for bleed the reason for bleed now angiography can be ct scan based angiography known as ct angiography in which a dye is given and ct scan is done or it can be mri based mri angiography or it can be a digital subtraction angiography which is like the angiography done for the heart with catheters and wires the direction of catheters is moved towards the brain and we do the angiography that is the best type of angiography because it is real time it shows the blow of the flow of dye in the brain and various blood vessels once the diagnosis is made of some vascular malformation we have to go for the procedure now what are the options of procedure we can go for an endovascular procedure like we enter inside the blood vessel and treat it if there is an aneurysm we can go for coiling we can go for a flow diverter or stent placement or we can go for a device placement lot of new devices has come up over the years now if there is an avm we can go for embolization if there is a dural av fistula we can go for embolization and there are lot many things which are available to treat the vascular abnormalities of the brain through endovascular methods in the neuro cath lab which we have at our hospital or sometimes we go for surgery like if there is an aneurysm we can go for tenotomy and clipping of aneurysm if there is an avm we can go for excision of the avm or if there is a dural av fistula we can obliterate it by doing a surgical procedure uncommonly but it is possible for a small avm to be undergo a radio surgery that is the gamma knife or the stereotactic radio surgery so all these medication uh, facilities are available which can treat any vascular abnormality of the brain and the patient can lead a normal life after that so we can go for surgery we can go for an endovascular procedure in the neurocath lab or even we can go for a radiation surgery thank you very much